The CF-18. It's pretty much the main event outside of the Snowbirds at Quinell Skyfest. Yes, it's hard to imagine the show without the hair-raising, negative G-pushing thrills the CF-18 demo team produces. But this aircraft wouldn't have been able to come to Quinell if Sergeant Jason Swanson and his barrier team weren't there. His team helps catch the CF-18 with their arresting gear and stop it before it overruns this short 5,000-foot runway. It's, uh, it's called a MOS system. It's a mobile aircraft arresting system. Uh, it's used for uh, mobile stuff for uh, any uh, runway that doesn't have any aircraft's arresting systems on it. And it's all staked in. And uh, what it does is we can put a cable across the runway and the jet will use it just in case he has an emergency or if he has any problems there, he can use the uh, cable to stop himself. Similar to the systems used on aircraft carriers, arrested systems have come a long way since they were first introduced in 1911. It's widely used in the military and at air shows, and the newer hydraulic systems make them easier to use. We're facing, uh, we have it throughout the Canadian forces on bases in Comox, Coal Lake, uh, Bagaville, Greenwood, Goose Bay, but we also use it in northern locations there where uh, in the winter months there when the runways get very icy there, so they're up in Inuvik, Iqaluit, and Yellowknife. So what exactly does the arrestor crew do and who are they? It's called the barrier team there. So what it is, we bring a team of us and we just run the gear. Um, I'm the team leader right now and then we have a few other guys with us. We have two firefighters with us here that will go in the actually get the jet off the cable on that. And basically our job as firefighters here is uh, once the uh, jet catches the cable, our job is my, myself, I will go out actually to the runway to the front of the jet and I'll do hand signals with the pilot and I'll get him off the cable. 73 William Sick Radio. For Dave and his partner, being a part of the arrested crew isn't part of their regular job. It's shows like this that give them the experience that they need. It's different. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie, it is a little different. It's not one of our main jobs. Our main job is on the base. We provide firefighting for the base and for the airfields on base. Jason, on the other hand, is Canada's only certified team leader for aircraft arresting systems. I've, I've been doing it off and on for about seven years now, but the last four years, I've, this is all I've been doing there, I've just been concentrating on it, so we've been traveling around Canada. Uh, we had a team go to Romania when the jets went over there and uh, deployed the gear there as well. The travel isn't the only perk that comes with this job though. The most fun part of what I do is uh, ultimately serving, the, uh, serving Canada. Uh, I love the Canadian forces, I love being a firefighter. Hanging out with everyone there too, you become a tight crew. Uh, you do a lot of stuff together. You, it's interesting work. It's always different. You're always outside. Um, you get to meet all the pilots and everything. Uh, you get to go in the planes, jets if you want to and all that. And you, have, you probably have the best seat for the air show too because you're sitting right on the side of the runway.